All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And in this video, I want to talk about some characters that I really wish were in the game. Um, I know we're getting the Cal Kestis characters. You know, we, we, like, there's plenty of stuff coming in here. I'm not saying that we're not getting characters. These are just characters that I really wish were in this game for one reason or another. So we're going to dive into the list, guys. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. Be sure that you catch all the other videos on the channel as well. And guys, remember, we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. When we hit 5,000 subscribers, Wampa will hit Relic 8 on a special live stream that we will dedicate to him. So make sure you guys keep on uh, growing this channel. It has been fantastic to see. I love this community, and you guys have made making videos a lot easier. So here are characters that I want. So we're going to start with Starkiller here. So... With Starkiller, if you've played the Force Unleashed games, you know that the big parts of this game are that he has relationships with Rom Coda, Proxy, and Juno Eclipse. Again, we'd still need one more character to kind of round out that squad for him. You could see somebody like even Bail Organa, who played a big role in the first Force Unleashed game. But Rom, you know, Rom Coda, Proxy, and Juno Eclipse, those would be characters that I really love to see with Starkiller. And I don't know that that'll actually happen. Because of the way his kit is built, where it's all about Jedi, Sith, and unaligned Force users, where you could use Rom Coda, but like Proxy and Juno don't really fit those criteria. So, long shots there, but again, just stuff I want. It doesn't mean that I think it's going to happen. All right, next is Agent Callus for Zeb. Uh, we don't really have that many Rebels characters. When you sit back and you think about it, we have six members of the Phoenix, Grand Admiral Thrawn, there's seven, and then Fulcrum, Ahsoka Tano is eight. I don't think we have any more characters that are like solely from Phoenix, which is the you know point I'm making here. Like the Inquisitors are there, right? We do have some of the Inquisitors, I guess, from there, but they've also featured in so many other, you know, in the Kenobi series that I don't think that they're solely from Rebels anymore, right? Um, so again, you know, that's just my take on that, that I'd love to see more Rebels characters. And Agent Callus is one that I... You could see him as both a M Imperial version of him. You could have the Rebel version of him. Like, I think that would be really cool. Again, Hondo does not count because we didn't get the version of Hondo from Rebels. It seems to be the version from, like, Galaxy's Edge at Disney. So, again, just, you know, making, you know, arguments here. All right, next is Scout Trooper. I know people have said, oh, I want to see Purge Troopers and all these things. But Scout Trooper, to me, deserves to be in this game. Scout Trooper was played a huge role in the Battle of Endor in the, uh, gosh, Return of the Jedi. Man, that that's embarrassing that it didn't come right to my head. So Scout Troopers, they've played a big role in that. They've had, you know, they've been in so much other than Star Wars content. I really think that they're missing. They're a character that could complete more Imperial Troopers, just give us another trooper to kind of mix in and, you know, shift the teams around a little bit. I'd love to see that. All right, next is Quinlan Voss. So this is something that I have been really wanting in the game for a while is like Quinlan was a cool, really cool Jedi from uh, the Clone Wars that I always really thought was, you know, I loved his character. I thought he was really cool. But also they mentioned him in the Kenobi series that Quinlan was here. And it got me thinking, like, how could we see Quinlan Voss in the game? And I really thought that it'd be cool if he kind of has synergy with General Kenobi or even Jedi Master Kenobi as that solid fit that you're going to use Quinlan with that team again. As a stretch, I don't know how they'll do it, but I'd love to see him kind of get that sort of synergy with that team. Again, I'm not saying that Kenobi needs to be any better. Just Quinlan, to me, seems to fit in well with the General Kenobi, again, since they have that episode together in the Clone Wars, and a Jedi that I've just really liked, you know, since. All right. Clones. We need some more clones in this game. And the clones here, Gregor, Wolf, and Heavy, you notice that there's three and that we only need two more clones to get the full effect of like 501st. We've got the Bad Batch kind of filled out, right, with Omega as their fifth. And then, you know, you have Arc Trooper in that 501st squad. So you have Clone Sar you know, Clone Sergeant and Commander Cody here. And getting Gregor and Wolf and Heavy, right, it would be really, really cool if we got them, right? I think that that would be a lot of fun because, you know, you only, like, we're, we kind of need that extra clone. And what I thought of with Heavy is... Could he have a 501st tag? Now, he wasn't in the 501st, but Heavy was the one who was in the squad with um, Echo and Fives, and I think it'd be really cool if they kind of tied in Heavy, put him in that team. Um, again, we don't know that for certain, right? Maybe he could be with Commander Cody because of their episode, um, you know, at the outpost, but 
I really thought that those characters are kind of missing from the game. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do like what other characters would you want to see again? Those three clones to me just play big roles again. Gregor and Wolf, not only you know from their time in Phoenix. So could they have Phoenix synergy? Could we get old Rex as well? Like just give us some. I think one some of the things that this game has really missed at times is giving us characters that like you made up Shorty. And we don't have, you know, Gregor and Wolf in the game who play, you know, pretty big roles inside of Phoenix, especially later on down the road. So, again, guys, I'm just, you know, characters I'd love to see. And then finally, Crosshair. Now, Crosshair poses an interesting, like, thing at this point. If Crosshair comes to the game and he has a Bad Batch tag or synergy with the Bad Batch, what does that mean for Omega? And I think that's why we haven't seen him yet. I really, truly believe, I mean, we could get a version of him that works with the Empire and Imperial Troopers. But if we get, like, this is, I think this is the crosshair problem. And maybe this is, like, the whole point of the video is getting to this crosshair problem. We have Omega for the Bad Batch. Like, she is that fifth member of the Bad Batch and works extremely well inside of the Bad Batch. I don't care what people say. Omega makes this team significantly better. Especially, I think, in PvE content. I think in PvP they do pretty well without her, but in PvE she makes them better. Crosshair, you bring you bring Crosshair into the game. Omega probably going to miss out because the version of Crosshair we have in Rise of the Empire is insane. But if you give us Crosshair and he has Imperial Trooper synergy, like how how are we supposed to use him then? Because you have the General Veers team, you've got Iden Versio, and then you kind of have Moff Gideon who just doesn't have a team anymore. And I think this is where this is why we don't have Crosshair yet. They don't know where he fits in. How does he work in this, you know, how does he work? Is he, does he, is he maybe, and this is the other thing I was thinking about, does he maybe fit up in these, with these guys up here as clone troopers? Does he fit in there that we're going to use him to lead those other random clones? Like, is the Bad Batch going in a direction where he's going to realize that his brothers are getting, you know, excommunicated or whatever, and that heavy's going to, you know, or heavy, sorry that Crosshair is going to kind of be that clone leader to kind of tie everything in. I don't know. I'm just, I'd love to see Crosshair in the game. I love his character, but I just, I think they're struggling to figure out where he fits into the game right now. So those are characters I want to see in the game, guys. Again, I'm not saying that I think every single one of them will make their way into Galaxy of Heroes. If I had to, you know, make assumptions, I mean, Scout Trooper definitely going to make it in the game at some point. He just, he has to. They're definitely going to throw Crosshair in because Crosshair is, um, you know, a big part of the current Star Wars content. And they really seem to try and make sure and capitalize on those characters. The Gregor, Wolf Heavy, Quinlan, I mean, even Callus and the, you know, characters for Starkiller. It's a longer shout, right? It's a, I'd love to see these characters. They're in the current, you know, they're in content. You know, obviously Starkiller's not canon, which is so unfortunate because his character, that storyline is amazing. If you guys haven't played those games, go play the games. There's books as well that I think paint a little bit more of a picture into Galen Merrick or Starkiller, as he's called in this game. But that's it, guys. Um, I've rambled on enough about characters I'd love to see. Let me know what your thoughts are. As always, smash that subscribe button. Leave likes, leave comments, guys. Again, want to get Wampa to Relic 8, guys. I really want to do this. We've been growing so quickly, and I love every single one of you. May the force be with you guys. Cheers.